Towns are well known for their hospitality and family-like atmosphere. Our special series tonight brings us to Dixie County and to a local favorite in Cross City where GTN's Alicia Tarancon joins us live. Alicia? I'm here live at Cypress Inn over here in Cross City with the manager over here, Gina Fowler, and her daughter, Brooke. Now, they tell me they've been in business for about 14 years, but this building has actually been around since the 1920s, so there's a lot of history here. And Gina, tell me, what is it about this restaurant that brings locals coming back for more? Their family's been here their whole life, their daddies, their grandparents, I mean, and children. They've just raised here. And, I mean... You guys are holding delicious food right now. Tell me about some of that food and some of the specials that have people coming back. People come for fried chicken. We get orders for like a lot of fried chicken. Our Cypress Burger here, that's one of our mainstays here. And we have a seafood buffet every Friday night from 5 to 10. And we have a buffet every day from 10.30 to 2 with just all fresh southern cooking. That sounds delicious. And now I'm going to talk to your daughter, Brooke, who she was born here. She was raised here. She goes to school here. What is it about Cross City that you love? I love about Cross City is you're all family here. Like at school, I'm known as the Cypress Inn girl because I've always <laughs> li just been living in, Cro uh, in Cyprus. Um, also, what I like is ever when you're down in the community or you need help, they'll pick you up. Everyone is not a friend they're all family that's great and Gina anything to add to that what do you love about living here in Cross City it just like Brooke said everybody's family it's just not friends here it's family and if somebody's down and out the whole community rallies around them and and helps them and picks them up whenever anybody's down it's just a wonderful place to live I couldn't imagine living anywhere else that's great and the food looks awesome so coming up next we're going to meet a local coach and educator who has strong ties to this community small town big hearts will be right back